Good morning. Welcome to my home and welcome to my heart. I had the delicious privilege this weekend of spending about six hours with my Qigong, Spring Forest Qigong colleagues in updating the level one course that we're teaching now. And it's all based now on the five healing elements and the five element theory, which is absolutely wonderful the way it flows because it really unites us with the earth and with our world and with ourselves within the world and how we all work together and how we all come together, all of these elements, the earth, the wood, the fire, the metal, the water, how they all come together to help us to be balanced and therefore whole and healed. <clears throat> so we're gonna begin with a bouncing part. We're always bouncing because what puts us into dis-ease and unsettledness in our bodies and our minds and our spirits and our souls is unhealthy food, poor environmental conditions, and most of all, and then we can have accidents if our bodies get, are getting beaten around in some manner, but most of all, what happens when we come into imbalance with our emotional bodies is that we, it's emotional imbalance that creates a difficulty. Just watching puppies here. We have three little puppies going home this week, and all of our new puppies. <laughs> Maria, can you come quickly move this um, last, these empty dishes? The little puppies are getting at them. Thank you. <clears throat> so wood, wood fuels fire. When fire consu is, consumes the wood, it fuels the earth. The earth makes metal. The water cools metal. The water feeds the wood. The wood makes uh, feeds the fire. The fire feeds the earth. The earth feeds the metal. The metal feeds the water. The water feeds the wood. It all works together. <clears throat> water also cools metal. Um, water quenches fire. There's a whole different, a whole bunch of ways that things interact with each other and expand each other or cover each other. It's quite amazing how the whole, ins the whole work, whole, oh my goodness, it's Monday morning. The whole process works. So let us begin to bounce. Remember it's unbalancedness that puts us into disease. <clears throat> I've been finding this last week that um, I've been doing intermittent fasting and fasting is also a principle in the Qigong process that we follow and principles in many religions. In Ramadan, in Christianity we fast, in, in um, you know, there's, there's many principles, or many thought processes and philo philosophical processes that involve fasting. And I have found that, <clears throat> through some extended fasting, that everything is lightning for me. It's been really, really wonderful. So we're the bouncing portion of our work our experience, our practice. We can make it be work if we want to, or we can just simply practice and make it an invitation. And so, in using the word work, I'm going to shift that. The bouncing is releasing. And as we bounce and release extra energy that's ready to return to the universe, as it comes off of us and comes out of us and releases from us, we can say thank you to it. Thank you for all the lessons you brought. Thank you for what you brought to me. I really appreciate that. The lessons for that particular bit of energy are now complete and the energy can be released. We're gonna allow our hands to float above our heads. In this bouncing and releasing process, we breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. And with the hands above the head, allow the shoulders to be soft. Maria, can you go check and see which puppies are caught behind mommy? Yeah. She is lying down to nurse. I hear a lot of frantic whining still. There might be somebody that's behind. Thank you, sweetie. These guys are just, just over a week old, so I gotta figure a few things out still. Go into the kennel, honey. Bye. 
bouncing and releasing. Soft hands, soft elbows. Allow her hands to drop down. Are they all in front of her now? Pretty soon all that little squeaking noise will settle down. Mommy's been fed so she can fed the, feed the babies. Shaking and bouncing and turning. Allowing our bodies to come into a quiet stillness. Now bringing our hands into the front of our lower dantian, our navel. And here we give the password, I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together as one. Forgive me, I wasn't paying attention to myself. I was watching the little puppies. First of all, we set the intention for our practice. We call upon the energy of our master. That entity or energy or being from whom you draw wisdom and knowledge, inspiration, healing, guidance. We call upon that energy with gratitude. Dear master, this is our intention we're setting, our ye. Dear Master, with deep gratitude for all that I have been given and shown and that I understand now, I set my intention for these five healing elements today to balance my body and allow me the balance and energy to share that with others as I journey together with my fellow man today and my fellow creatures. And now we say the password, I am in the universe. Thy universe is in my body. Thy universe and I combine together. When we say the word combine, we're acknowledging that we are connected to our higher power and that we're accessing that power. Now we have opened ourselves to the power of the universe, the unconditional love, that power of unconditional love. The first movement of the five healing elements is moving of yin and yang. Our right hand comes up to our throat, our left hand is at the lower dantian. Our breathing has now changed from in to in through the nose and out through the nose. And as we start moving yin and yang, our inside, our lower hand comes in and comes up the body. Our upper hand goes up and out and down. In through the nose and out through the nose, the tip of our tongue is touching the roof of our mouth just behind the front teeth, the upper front teeth. And our bodies and our faces have come into a smile. It's a very faint smile, it's a soft smile. It comes from the heart first, moves up into our face and reconnecting our heart with our bodies in that beautiful smile. Smile stands for start my internal love engine. As we move yin and yang, we use our elbows to lead and we open our lung meridians. And the emotion that we invite in here in moving of yin and yang is the emotion of happiness. In this moment, we're in the present moment. We can choose what emotion to invite in in the present. If something else is here, a different emotion that we haven't chosen, 
We're probably reliving memories of the past. We're thinking about, thinking about anxieties in the future. Here in this moment, we can release those and choose to feel happiness in this moment. It doesn't mean that we cover up the other emotions. If they're there, you might receive them. Say, thank you for giving your, me your message. Receive them and feel them. If there's a lot of them, go back to the bouncing. That is a receiving and moving space. Feel what your body needs. If you've been following me, you'll know the different movements. If there's a lot coming up for you right now that is not happiness, return to the bounce. You'll know, and you might spend your whole practice bouncing sometimes. If there's a lot to be received and felt and, and acknowledged. When your body is moving and bouncing and tapping in the different meridians, remember the tapping on the eyebrows and underneath the eyes, the top of the head. In those spaces, we receive and move the emotions that contract us, to make more space for the emotions that expand us. Here in the moving of yin and yang, we invite in the motion of happiness. I am happy. We move to our second movement. Our hands here holding this globe, this beautiful iridescent light. Here we're joining yin and yang. Puppies are playing. We're going to breathe of the universe, in bending our knees as we inhale and allowing our hands to float out, elbows leading. <coughs> Breathing out as we come in and up. The emotion that we invite in here is the emotion of joy. feel so much joy right now. I feel joy. I receive so much joy from the universe. I am filled with joy. Every cell of my body is full of joy. As I breathe in, I breathe in with every cell of my skin and my whole body breathes in, breathing in joy. And breathing out that release. <coughs> breathing in joy. out release one more joy filled in inhalation leading with their elbows bending our knees and stretching back up into the universe our bodies are a pump as each time we bend our knees, we're reaching down into the earth. We have a globe now in our hands, back to that iridescent globe. We're lifting it up. It's actually floating up, we're following it. And as it floats and we follow and receive, and our hands are now above our heads. Good, better and best, go to the level that you're able to do. Don't push your body into places that is, that is pain, that creates pain. Here I have this beautiful, for me, mine is pearlescent and it's glowing and it's vibrating and it has the word, the sound om to it or om, whatever level. And as we bend our knees, we have that beautiful globe above us. 
We're receiving the feeling of peace. I feel so much peace right now. Breathing in as we bend our knees, reaching down into the earth, stretching up, releasing our bodies into peace. Receiving peace from the universe. Our chin is dropped down, our body, our head is stretching up into the sky. Receiving the peace of the universe. I feel so peaceful. <laughs> and allowing our hands to float back down. That was the third movement of our five healing elements. It has to do with the spleen energy, the color yellow. Bringing our hands into the lower Dantian position. I'm going to walk our right foot out a little bit. Bring our fingertips together and forming a heart shape. Here at our low Dantian, <laughs> there's much energy and excitement over there. We're going to shift our body weight. This is the metal element. The movement is called connecting with our body's energy. We have a lot of metals in our body. We use many trace elements for our body, physical body to function. As we bend, as we shift our body weight to the right, we're exhaling. As we bring our body weight to the left, we're inhaling. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Connecting with our body energy, we're working with the lung system, the breathing system, which includes our skin. Breathe in through your whole body. Breathe out through your whole body. Feeling here is the one of contentment. I am content. <laughs> Breathing in to the left and out to the right. Inviting in that feeling of beautiful contentment. Our fingertips are just touching lightly enough to hold a piece of paper in our hands. Remembering the smile.
Think of the color white in this contentment space. Every color we think about or feel or wear has a vibration to it. Breathing in deeply and breathing in contentment. As we breathe in deeply and bring in contentment, we release the feelings of depression and sadness. Walk your right foot back in so that your body is balanced. Allowing your hands to just close into a prayer position. Bringing your folded hands up to your heart. And this is the fifth healing element. It's connected with the kidney system, our water system, our cleansing and releasing system. When we're in a fear state, it affects our kidneys. The emotion that releases fear is gratitude. Gratitude for everything that we have. color is blue. And as we bend forward at the hips, each time we bend forward, I'm just going to tip my body sideways so you can see. We can also reach our chin forward and scoop. This is called dolphining our neck. We're going to scoop forward with our chin on the inhale. Scoop a little bubble of energy and chi up into your throat area. Have it rise and open the shoulders. It's a very subtle movement. Bending forward with a gratitude bow. Dolphining the neck. With each time we bend forward, we're inhaling and as we exhale, use the exhale to speak about one thing that you're grateful for. I am grateful for air. I am grateful for puppies. I am grateful for people. The more we can speak our gratitude out loud, that vibration of the voice and the sound that we make, Balances our bodies as well. I'm grateful for wool. I love the feeling under my feet of this wool. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for our bodies. I'm grateful for knowledge. I am grateful for joy. I'm grateful for contentment. I am grateful for peace. I am grateful for happiness. And I am grateful for the knowledge that I can create these states and I can receive these states. we harvest our chi, 
Our bodies have been wide open in this meditative space. And now we're harvesting our chi and closing those meridians and, and tucking into ourselves the energy that we've just created. Rubbing our hands together on either side of your face or on your fingers on either side of your nose, pardon me, and up into the hairline. Out into the hairline and down to your chin. We're drawing a heart. And as we draw that heart, say to yourself, I am, I love you, and use your own name. I love you. Say your own name. I love you, Roxy. Use your own name. Massaging the ears. I'm going to just reach and unfold the whole ear. I'm going to do this nine times and give your earlobe a little tug. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's tap the top of our head. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the back of our head. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are all spots that we touch on and breathe into in the small universe meditation. They're receptive spots of the universe. Crook of the left elbow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The crook of the right elbow. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And under the left armpit. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the right armpit. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to cup our kidneys. So just use a cupping hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we're going to rub them with the backs of our hands. And now turn your hand over and just hold those kidneys. Send them beautiful love, kindness. We're going to tap the outsides of our hips. Oh no, our sacrum first. Don't miss the sacrum. It's really, really important. Tapping that sacrum. And the outsides of the hips now. Six, seven, eight, nine. And the groin. And down to the knees, the tap top of the knees. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the backs of the knees. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the left leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the right leg. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And up on our toes and dropping down to our heels. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good puppy. Seven, eight, nine. It's peeing right where it's supposed to pee. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming with me and practicing with me today or whenever it is that you receive this video. Namaste and thank you. I love you. May you have a wonderful day.